Hey guys, it's a Witness here. Just going to do a little sound comparison before and after aftermarket exhaust. Uh, so pretty much everything I have on here right now is stock. Um, the only thing I've done aftermarket to the bike is, it's all com uh, cosmetic. Uh, so you see it still has the, the stock exhaust on there. Yeah, so like I said, everything else is cosmetic like that right there. The... Uh, the sea cowl, you know, little things like tank pads and uh, frame sliders, wheel stripes, you know, basic stuff. All right, let's go ahead and start it up for you. So here's the after video. Uh, we went ahead and installed the system. Now I've had it on for actually a couple weeks, so this isn't right after uh, the install. So it's had a little bit of time to break in. It's had a little bit of time to get uh, warmed up. I just took her for a spin, so she's nice and warm now. So we'll go ahead and start it up for you. video is going to do it justice but in person I could tell you this thing sounds really really mean uh, the uh, it sounds like a Moto GP bike honestly when you let go of the throttle when you decel it, you get the popping just like a Moto GP bike but it doesn't sound obnoxious it sounds deep and throaty it's a really really nice exhaust um, I definitely felt a weight savings on the back end I don't know so much about a power save uh, a power increase that's so much I didn't really feel um, but it's definitely a sweet sounding exhaust, I'll give it that much. And it really complements the, the tail end of the R1. It's nice and contoured. Oh, there you have it, guys. That's the Graves Link exhaust for the R1.